The flow of data is the play of open intelligence. This is such an empowering way to look at all of the circumstantial experiences that we have moment to moment. The flow of data is the play of open intelligence. Now before we were introduced to open intelligence, before we were introduced to the training, for most of us the flow of data was something that we misperceived to be independently generated. We believed we had control over. And basically we just indulged, replaced, or avoided everything that was occurring. And we placed everything in buckets of positive, negative, and neutral. And then we contrived an entire life based on the desire to hold on to the positive and the want to push away the negative. And we just saw that our whole life was this roller coaster ride of ups and downs and, and this micromanaging and shape shifting of our everyday experience. So we had all this incredible energy that was being used to shape shift and micromanage constantly. And then we were introduced to the training, we were introduced to open intelligence, and we had the incredible good fortune to have this algorithm of the four mainstays to support a new lifestyle choice. And our new lifestyle choice was the four mainstays. A life wherein we live with the empowerment of recognition of perfect knowledge of reality just as it is. And that perfect knowledge and reality just as it, as it is, is the instinctive recognition of the great juncture of open intelligence and data being inseparable. Just like the color blue and the sky are inseparable. Just like the wetness and water are inseparable or heat and fire are inseparable. We have this dramatic shift wherein we go from the totality of our experience being indulging, avoiding, and replacing all of what's occurring to a fourth choice, the choice to clarify the data, to really instinctively recognize what is the true essence of the data? What really is the nature of my mind? And through the four mainstays, we have the instinctive recognition of inseparability. We're no longer misperceived on the nature of the data as being something that's independently generated or what, what we, we, we would say reified. We no longer are living life from this very limited, 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 limited view of reification. Here we allow that to open up, to allow our intelligence to open up to the full meaning of what the data are. And that is that they're just simply the dynamic energy of open intelligence. And in this way, with this recognition, we see that the flow of our data isn't something to distract us or something to be controlled or manipulated, but the flow of our data is empowering. It's empowering with beneficial qualities and activities. So when we come into direct relationship, a correct relationship with the data, we take all of that energy that we use to shape shift and micromanage and we rest and allow it to open up to beneficial qualities and activities. And this is really an empowering way to live life. And so we become empowered with this perfect knowledge and then we see how that flows through the skillfulness of our body and our mind and our speech and our qualities and activities. And so the relationship that we really want to become intimate with is the relationship with open intelligence, the relationship as open intelligence. And when we nurture this relationship, when we really instinctively recognize ourselves as inseparable from open intelligence, then we see the great effect that that has on all relationships. So again, when we're micromanaging and we're avoiding and indulging and replacing everything, we are also considering ourselves to be something separate from open intelligence. A little me, a reified identity of I. 
and we think that we have to look a certain way or sound a certain way or we desire to look a certain way or sound a certain way in order to attract somebody else thinking that that is a good relationship but these are just relationships that are based on on a reified view when we open up our view to open intelligence then our relationships become authentic and intimate and they're based on perfect knowledge that we're all equal emanations of open intelligence that the relationship we really want to to hone up and nurture and empower is this relationship with open intelligence and then we can just settle into that and, and relax and, and open up the floodgates of our skillful means. And I really saw this very directly. When, when I finished the empowerments, it was so obvious to me that all of my relationships were based on gossiping and judging and generally were just an air of disempowerment. I was disempowering myself and I was disempowering others with the way that I spoke and the way that I thought and just how I used my incredible potencies of body and mind and speech. And so when I came from the empowerment, I did have a really big shift where I, from, from really recognizing how disempowering my relationships were, I kind of swung to that extreme of just so much focus on that. And I re realized, wow, I, I really need the support of my trainer and I need the support of the mainstays to, to, to come back to balance, to really help me rest with everything that, that was occurring for me. And so I saw really it was, it was my responsibility. If I took full responsibility for my circumstantial flow of data, then I would, I would just become more and more empowered with the knowingness that my well-being was situated right there at that crucial juncture and that my well-being wasn't dependent on anybody else it didn't really matter what anybody else was doing or saying I had my circumstantial flow of data and I had a commitment to rest with all of that data take personal responsibility for the data and see what happens and so as I did that I saw an amazing shift in my relationships I saw that by remaining perceptually open with all that, that was occurring for me, just allowing it to be as it is, letting the data flow freely as it's intended and purposed anyway, knowing that the data will resolve on its own, just like the knot in a snake undoes itself without anything needing to be done. By taking responsibility, I saw that I came into a much deeper relationship with myself and other people and indeed my relationships became much more intimate much deeper and stronger and it was because I wasn't shape-shifting trying to shape-shift them or micromanage them or trying to get other people to change I, I was taking full responsibility for the change and I knew that when I understood and came into direct relationship with my data then my relationships would change. They would, they would go from the vantage of reification to the wide open vantage of open intelligence. And so in the beginning after the empowerment, there, there was a, a period of time where it, it felt uncomfortable to be in a relationship with my friends and family who weren't relying on open intelligence the way I was. But I knew this was my great playground that these button pushers were my great opportunity. And if I took responsibility, then I can see in my direct walk of life what, what would happen. And so if you're in a position where your buttons are being pushed all the time, this is cause for great celebration. This is the rubber meeting the road, so to speak. This is where we really can take stock and responsibility and say, hey, all right. This is my great opportunity to clarify what's going on, to no longer be judging other people for what they're saying or doing, to no longer want things to look or feel a different way, but to actually stay perceptually open in this situation and see the perfect nature of it all, 
to really see that nothing needs to change with anybody else, but that all of the flow of the circumstantial data is, is the great opportunity to clarify it. And then once it's clarified, everything changes. This is the power of short moments and the power of relying on the mainstays. And so I see for myself today, I, I have incredible relationships with my friends and family who aren't relying on open intelligence the way I am. And it's because I stopped trying to change that situation. Now I can actually meet them exactly where they are. And in that meeting, that's where the flourishing of the skillful means comes. My speech just naturally changes. The, the way I use my body and mind naturally changed. And so I meet people and I, and I see the perfect nature of the situation and then I just allow the skillfulness of open intelligence to flourish and flow. And it, it isn't like the skillful means belong to me or belong to you or belong to anybody else. It's the flow of open intelligence. This intelligence is just skillful by nature. And so when we're relying on reification, we don't have full access to those skillful means. When we rely on the mainstays and we allow it all to be as it is, we open up the access to the skillful means. And this, this again, it's a very organic approach. And so to me, that really builds authenticity. I really feel like I'm living an authentic life for the first time. I feel so stable from my commitment and my practice to rely on the mainstays that what used to be a button pusher isn't a button pusher anymore. And that is a very, very great insight and a very great direct experience. So you see nothing, for me, nothing really changed in the people and the places and the things. But what did change was my relationship to my data. And because that relationship changed, then it allowed the, the skillfulness to flow freely. And you know, the other thing I noticed is it's skillfulness to time, place, and circumstance. So this ability to remain open and be completely responsive in every moment, is, it is a very empowering way to live life. And we see it on the ground running in our own direct experience. And so that adds to our own assurance and our own trust and our own knowingness of, of not only our power and potential, but everybody else's too. And this is what I would say is an empowered way of living life. So the responsibility is just ours and ours alone. And the Four Mainstays, this super powerful algorithm, supports this choice that we've made. Fully supports the choice. We have everything that we need in order to live this lifestyle that we're choosing.